Okay, here's how you make a magnetoholographic viewing device. These are optical flats. Okay, what is it? It's just super, super flat glass. Um, you can find this stuff on eBay. Most of it has to be ordered from China. You're like, well, I could use window glass. You could, but not really. It doesn't work. Um, window glass is essentially like the Rocky Mountains as far as how flat it is ultimately. So it doesn't really work. Um, these are optical flats. Um, you can get them various sizes. Most of them you can actually use um, camera lens filters, which you know you can get upwards of uh, 77 millimeters, 72 millimeters. That's actually the cheap way. See so if you got some old Hoya filters, like 72 millimeters, you could use those. These are a lot thicker, a lot tougher to break. Now, um, two ingredients: mouse milk. This is used in World War II and stuff. It's basically like an old version of WD-40. It's uh, some nasty stuff. It smells uh, really potent, tuli, naphthalene, yada, yada, yada. And this, of course, is a ferrofluid. And there you go. You can get that also on eBay. Um, I used to actually seal these, but since uh, these are so sensitive, they destroy easy. All you have to do is take them apart and clean it with uh, soap and water. And I actually have a couple uh, pipettes here with uh, a few drops of mouse milk and a few drops of mouse milk here and uh, a few drops of... Uh, Ferrofluid, I'll show you how to make it. And over here, we actually have a ring of hardware LEDs that you could actually buy, you know, like Lowe's, Home Depot. Pretty simple, right? That's actually in a uh, 3D printer encasing, but you don't have to use that. You could use black tape if you want. Here, I actually have the three, three pieces of tape. What I'm going to do is once I actually put my uh, solution in this, I'm going to tape it uh, here, here, and here to hold it and then just drop it into my container. Make sure that uh, you've got all the dust. I cleaned this, uh, like I said, with soap and water, then dried it, then used a uh, rubbing alcohol. Make sure it's perfectly clean. You wanna use mouse milk first. I'm gonna show you that in just a second. So what I'm gonna do is this is my application side. I mean, either one could be the application side. I'm gonna put uh, right in the middle about three to four Drops. Most of this stuff is going to squish out the side. Once I actually plop this piece of glass on top of this one, 90% of this stuff is going to squish right out the sides, right? Okay, so now you can see I've got my uh, mouse milk there in the center. Yeah, there we go. Actually, I want to make it a little bit more like that. There we go. And then I'm going to put about one and a half heaping drops of uh, ferrofluid. Boom. That was one drop, and I just want to put, like, just a tiny bit. There we go. That's even a bit too much. You see as dark as that is, what I'm going to do is flop this over. Okay, now I'm not going to just, like, boom, like this. What you're going to do is you're going to apply it like this, okay? Not like this, okay? Get it? Get it? Yeah, like this, okay? So, it doesn't have to be perfectly even, but there we go. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to squeeze the bubbles out. And I'm also going to spin it around a little bit. I know there's a dark spot in the center. Trust me, that'll go away once I actually do. Now you see it's all squirting out the sides. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to tape it now, but I'm going to put the phone down because the end of the video. All I'm going to do is I'm going to tape it here, here, here with some, just some clear, regular tape. And that'll be enough to keep it in there because this stuff doesn't really evaporate that easily because it's optically flat glass. I've actually got a good suction in there. You can actually see the way I've actually done that. I've got one air bubble here. What I'm going to do is massage that out. You see I'm pushing it, and the air bubble's migrating out to the corner. I'll get rid of that air bubble here in just a second. So you can push any tiny air bubble. This is why you want to apply it instead of top on top like I showed you. Here we go. So I've got the air bubble out, essentially. And this is it. I got like a couple super tiny bubbles in there, but it doesn't really see. Most of this stuff squishes out the sides. See, I mean, I only use like three drops of this and a drop, a heaping drop and a quarter or a half. And uh, obviously how much you use is going to depend on the filter side, but it doesn't matter either way because it's all going to squish out the sides. Most of it is anyway. Ultimately, I've got like a quarter of a drop. Of the four and a half drops or so I put on here, there's only like a quarter or half a drop inside here between the glass. So this is how you make a magneto holographic viewing device. Now this is as simple as it gets. How simple is this? Hardware LEDs. Ugh. One ingredient. Ugh. Ferrofluid. Yep. Two pipettes. Yeah.
Yeah, pretty simple, right? And like I said, the reason why I don't want to use, you can actually uh, seal this up really good with like UV glue, but then this is going to get burnt out because it's so sensitive. I want to tear it apart really easy, and if I just use three pieces of tape, now you just take the tape off, wash it, and start all over again. And that takes me about 10 minutes to remake it. 10 minutes. At most 10 minutes. Really, about 5 minutes. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this video. If you do, you can drop a donation below. Tell me how much you hate me. This is how you make a magnetoholographic viewing device. The Supercell. Mmm. Mouse milk. Yeah, mouse milk. Yeah. Don't make a joke about squeezing mouse tits, okay? No jokes about squeezing mouse titties, okay? No mouse titties joke. All right, there we go. Thanks. Bye!